Ciao guys and welcome to Lempis. As you can see, I'm wearing my African dress and I have this African baskets with me today because I'm going to show you how to prepare a typical Namibian breakfast dish. I'm talking about semolina porridge. In my mother tongue, we call this okatete. Simply mean a thin breakfast porridge. This is very common in Namibia. During my childhood, I ate a lot of semolina porridge almost every day before I went to school. My mother used to buy a lot of this. You usually get it in ShopRite or in Pick and Pay in small boxes. I think it's between 500 to a kg. Already specifically packed just to prepare breakfast semolina porridge. It is delicious, yet it is so simple to make. Let's move on to the ingredient, guys. For this recipe, we need 600 to 700 ml water, about a quarter cup powder milk or cream water, a quarter cup sugar, you may use less or more according to your taste, a tablespoon of butter, and 70 grams semolina or yellow maize flour, and a pinch of salt for a seasoning or for taste. Step one. Add the semolina flour into a pot and then add about 200 ml of cold water and mix well to form a thin stream. Once it's nicely smooth, add the rest of the water. Keep stirring until it starts boiling. If you stop stirring, it's going to form lumps and your breakfast porridge is not going to be smooth anymore. It's now thickening. At this stage, if you stop stirring, like and just stir every five minutes, it's okay because it has now started to thicken. Great. So, as you can see, the breakfast porridge has thickened. Just look at how thick it is when you shake the back of the on a wooden spoon. Add a pinch of salt at this stage for seasoning. Then add butter. Just to add some creaminess. Then add cream or powder and milk. So when you add cream or you should really stir very well if you are not good with a wooden spoon try to use a bowl a balloon whisk just make sure that it doesn't have any lump but you can see it's now really creamy and that's what you're looking for and again this is uh, optional i love my breakfast porridge with the uh, cremora or with powder milk but if you don't like that you want to keep it lean leave that out and the next thing you do is add sugar at this stage, taste before you remove it from the fire. I love it. I love it. It's nice, it's creamy, yummy. I don't need more sugar, I don't need more salt or anything like that. I'm just going to go ahead and scoop this into breakfast balls. Remove from here. Like your portion for four people, depending on how much it's breakfast break. I think two men and four kids or four women. So before you serve this, let it cool for about 10 minutes, otherwise it's going to be extremely too hot and uncomfortable to eat. Just give it 10 minutes and then I'll come back and show you how to eat this. So guys, that was it from me today. I hope I've given you enough information and you're ready to get in your kitchen and prepare for yourself this delicious semolina porridge. If you enjoy watching this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. And also, if you're interested in Namibian food, check out my new playlist, which is all about Namibian recipe. 
Also guys, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section what you think about this recipe or what do you think or what would you like me to do in the next video. Bon appetito! I'm gonna go ahead and try my semolina porridge. Oh, I was dying, I was dying. light because I didn't add a lot of sugar and I think that's the trick. Don't add so much sugar or so much butter. It is so creamy. 